Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if we're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're gonna to be doing my current favorites. If you are new to this channel, usually I do monthly favorites, but this past month I didn't get around to it. So today is gonna to be March and April's favorite combined into one. After this video, I will get back on schedule, but I just have so many products to share with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. <laughs> I go, my squad? <laughs> Let's get into it. Um, so today I'm gonna show you guys my favorites. There's so many great products that I wanna share with you guys. The first uh, product that I wanna show you guys is actually today's sponsor. I'm really excited because this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Scentbird. If you guys follow me on social media, you probably know by now that I've been obsessed with fragrance for the last couple months. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool subscription service that not only helps you out, pick out like your favorite scent, but also ways to travel with it. So let me show you guys a little bit of what Scentbird it is and then I'll show you guys some of my favorite perfumes that I've been testing out with them. So Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop over 600 brands. It is a flexible subscription so you can skip any month without penalties. They let you choose a designer fragrance every month for just $16. Every month you do get to pick what you want to receive so there's no surprises or anything like that and they do have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. You can upgrade to receive two or three products a month if you choose to. There's also a really simple quiz online that you can take and they'll help you discover new fragrances. It's based on your preferences, previous purchases, and the quiz answer, and they'll help you find the fragrance that you'll love. Something cool is that they carry top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, but they also have indie labels like Vince Camuto, The Harmonist, Confessions of a Rebel, and by the way guys, they're all 100% authentic. They actually work directly with the brands. The reason why I've been loving Scentbird is because obviously you guys know that designer fragrances cost like hundreds and hundreds of dollars and sometimes you just want to smell like that for an amount of time perfumes cost anywhere from like 150 bucks to like 500 dollars scentbird actually carries those like very high-end perfumes that costs like a lot of money um i don't want to mess it up because i can't pronounce this but they have homage which costs 345 dollars they have the harmonist which is 295 dollars sicily for 280 and veronique goodbye for 290 with scentbird you can actually actually get a very good size amount for only $16 and then I do have a coupon code with you guys which will bring it down to $11. I do have a couple of these fragrances that I really like and I'm also going to show you guys like the component that it comes with so you guys can see how your subscription would get to your house. I have so many to show you guys but I'll go through them pretty quickly. You do get this really nice little velvet bag and this is the component. Even if you're not traveling, this is already a cool component. You literally twist it up and spray it, and then you can twist it back down. And then also just to take it out and replace it, you can literally just do this. As you can see, this is a pretty big amount that you do get. You get 0.27 fluid ounces. I mean, this actually lasts me a really long time. It's not one of those tiny sample sizes. Like this is a really good travel perfume that you can literally switch out depending on what you're feeling like and then put it back in this really nice component that doesn't leak or anything and then spray it. Now the fun part, I'm gonna show you guys which ones I got. So one of my top ones is actually Brilliant by Vince Camuto. Oh my goodness. So some of the top notes are actually Juicy Pear, Gardenia Petals, Jasmine Sambach, Cashmere Woods, and White Cedar. This is one of my favorites and I think it's pretty popular. It's Prada Candy. The top notes are Caramel, Musk, and Benzoine. I'm gonna bring it back to the 2000s with you guys with some Juicy Couture. This one is the Viva La Juicy Noir. The top notes are berries, vanilla, caramel, honeysuckle, and again gardenia. That gardenia gives it that like floral but fresh scent with the sweetness. So this next one is still a little bit sweet but it's not as sweet as the other ones. It's kind of in the middle. It's actually Versace Crystal Noir. Oh my goodness. Top notes, coconut, gardenia, pepper, ginger, and sandalwood. The last two that I have for you guys are not sweet, but they're definitely like warm and cozy. Anna Sue in Sky, and this one is Juicy Pear, Lily of the Valley, and Airy Popcorn. And then the last one that I have for you guys is actually from Sicily. Like I said, they carry really, really high-end brands, and this is called the Isia Lenoir. 
Top notes, blackcurrant, Dornano rose, magnolia, freesia, and vanilla. I just want to show you guys how cute the components are. These are some of the ones like that you could get. They're all very beautiful. By the way, they also have an app. So if you're interested, I will also link it down below if you guys want to download it so that it makes it a little bit easier for you to order. So yeah, that is it. Thank you again, Scentbird, for sponsoring this. I really like the subscription. Again, 30% off coupon down below. Definitely check it out if you're a fragrance junkie like me. I guess we're not even going to go in any order um, because I have so many different products to show you guys. Let's start out with some skincare. Um, I got a vitamin C that I need to tell you guys about. So this is the very popular True Alchemy Glow Serum with activating vitamin C. I've been really loving this. As most of you guys know, I've been on retinol and my skin has been purging definitely around my chin. So I've been taking really good care of my skin to encourage that cell turnover. So I wanted to read you guys some of the website of what it says because it's very impressive. On the website it says, reveal your skin's youthful radiance with this deeply nurturing dual action serum formulated with ultra potent form of youth boosting vitamin c plus the brightening power of bakuchi oil and advanced tridoxy acid blend to encourage healthy cellular turnover it's a two month bottle i really like it it actually separates so you have to shake it before putting it on but it does have that like glowy serum in it so it's it's like a very very lightweight oil and i really like it it's it it is hydrating my skin, it's nourishing it, but it doesn't feel like greasy or anything like that. I do have dark spots, and it's actually a thing that runs in my family, so I've been taking really good care of my skin with not only sunscreen, but also vitamin C to reduce the dark spots and then take care of the skin. By the way, sometimes when you buy vitamin C, make sure that it's coming in a dark bottle like this, because if it's coming in like a see-through clear bottle, it messes up the vitamin C. This has just been my go-to vitamin C recently. Like I said, I really love it. I've I've seen a difference my skin feels brighter it's super lightweight yet hydrating and it feels very nourishing i actually use it twice a day once in the morning and once at night i like to chemically exfoliate with like a toner add this hydrate and then add my spf so i've been really loving this true alchemy did send this to me in pr to try out and i gotta say i love it it's a glow serum and a vitamin c serum all in one and i'm here for it and then for spf i've actually been obsessed with this one. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen Sheer Tint. Like I actually mentioned in my last video, it's like a dupe of the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen. It's kind of the same thing where it's like tinted, but not really. It's just to avoid the white cast. It doesn't actually give you any coverage. So it does work really nicely for light to medium skin tones. I do think it might make you look ashy if you have very deep skin tones. So I definitely wanna let you guys know that. But other than that, this is a 30 SPF and I really like it because again you don't get a white cast it goes on very thick at first like you don't need a lot of this but it actually sinks into the skin very quickly and very nicely I can wear this under makeup with no problem and it looks really nice and it creates a very nice base for my foundation and it's drugstore so this has been my go-to um, I'm almost out of it because I literally use it every day twice a day so if you're looking for a sunscreen that doesn't give you a white cast looks good on your makeup looks good on its own and it's drugstore check this out because it's great um, i want to talk about a hair product i've been loving this if you guys follow me on tiktok you probably already saw like a haul of this product this is the kristen s blow dry mist ultra light weight with heat protecting up to 450 degrees sorry i know it's kind of hard to see with all my lights but this is what it looks like i've already used i'm literally have about this much left first of all smells amazing smells like cologne which i love so i really like this at first i was kind of afraid to use it because it is kind of like i don't want to say oily but it definitely has like a dry oil feel when you first put it on your hair and as a heat protectant you want to put a lot of it on so it kind of is a little bit intimidating because you don't want your hair to feel or look greasy but it doesn't it just nourishes your hair i love it applying it when my hair is wet and then i blow dry it but I also want to tell you guys why I love this so much. I personally have dry hair. So the longer I go with like working out and dirty hair, my hair just gets super dry and like hay-like. 
and this actually is really really nice to refresh the hair so let's say that my hair is dry but it's dirty i'll literally put this on my dry hair blow dry it and it almost makes my hair nice and silky again so not only does it protect it from the heat and it kind of speeds up your blow drying time it also like rejuvenates it so i really really like it and um they have it now at ulta i believe they also sell them at target if i'm correct Okay, next I want to talk about two products that I don't want to sound redundant, but I have to put them in a favorites. Let me give a shout out to Fenty Beauty. I know I talked about these in my last video. If you want to see how I did this look and how these products work, go to my last video, how to look snatched. Both of these products are amazing. I do have a full video reviewing, test wearing the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint. I use the shade 10. It is what I'm wearing on my face. It's amazing, it's lightweight, medium coverage, looks beautiful all day, it's hydrating, and it lasts a long time, and it's great. Again, I don't wanna, oops, I just hit myself in the face. I don't wanna be redundant, but if you wanna see a review on it, I will link it up here. And then this bronzer, I, I literally haven't put it down since I got it. it. It's also the bronzer that I'm wearing today. I like the formula and I love the shade most of all. It's called Caramel Cutie. As you can see, it's just like a really beautiful neutral shade. It has a little bit of golden undertones and a little bit of warmth, but it's not orange, it's not yellow. It's just perfect. I love it. I also love Hula Caramel. This is the difference. See how it's very similar except the Hula Caramel does lean a little bit more orange. That's why I love this Caramel Cutie one. They're both great choices, but I just prefer this one and it's just great. I'm loving Fenty Beauty. Okay, I want to talk about something that I just reviewed, but I swear to you I have not put it down. If I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing this. Oh my goodness, this was like a big shock to me. I actually received this from One Size Beauty and I did a review on it and I ended up loving it. This is the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. I do have the shade, it's medium for G. This is what it looks like and I absolutely love it. I love the component, first of all, let's just say that. But also, the foundation is beautiful. It is medium to full coverage. You can go in with a puff and get that full coverage look, or you can go in with like a fluffy brush like I do and get that medium, seamless um, coverage. I've been wearing this with just a little bit of concealer under my eyes and it wears beautifully. Again, I do have a whole video on it, so if you wanna see, I believe it's an eight or 10 hour wear test. I will link it up here, but it's just so good. I had to put it in my favorites. I wanna talk about a mascara. Um, again, if you follow me on TikTok, you already saw how good this mascara is. This is the Benefit Cosmetics, They're Real Magnet. I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of the original They're Real. I do love Benefit mascaras. I love Bad Gal Bang and I love the Roller Lash, but I wasn't a fan of the They're Real one, but this is insane. I don't talk about a lot of high-end mascaras, but this is really good. If you're into high-end mascaras, you need this one. It's super spiky, but they're separated enough to give you that volume as well as that length and separation. This formula is everything. It builds so quickly. Like, I actually have it on my eyes today. I did do more of a winged look. This is not how long, like, my lashes can get long with this. Go watch my TikTok if you want to see how long these can make my lashes. But the formula literally builds up so nice and so quickly that you have to go in with a light hand because it just gives you the volume, the length, the separation. Literally, chef's kiss. It's just so nice. You should definitely try it out or get a sample size and try it out. I want to give a quick shout out to this new setting spray toner. This is the Physician's Formula, the Essence of Healthy Toner and Setting Spray. It's a brightening complex toner and setting spray. It has so many amazing ingredients in it. It's packed with vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, amino acids, and natural acids to condition and visibly enhance skin radiance. I love skincare and makeup in one. I really love to use it as a primer spray and also as a fixing spray. It adds a lot of hydration to my skin and also it makes my makeup like melt all together. I really like it and the packaging, glass bottle, A+. I just, I've been loving this. So go to setting spray at the moment. And lastly, um, I've talked about this product a lot and I'm not going to lie, it's in my car, but I do have 
another one. I love them both, so I'm going to talk about this one. This is the Physician's Formula Diamond Plumper. Uh, it's fairly new. I actually recently got into their PR list, which has been awesome because I've been trying out a lot of their products. I really like this one as well as the pink one. They only come in two shades. I do prefer the pink one better, but they're both amazing. This has been my go-to, not just plumping lip gloss, but just my lip gloss in general. This looks beautiful over lipstick, but it looks even more beautiful on bare lips. It just, it really plumps your lips really, really nicely, but it's also very hydrating, so you don't need like a hydrating chapstick or anything like that. Like this has been like my chapstick. It adds color to my lips too, and it plumps them. And it's just beautiful, and it's drugstore, and the packaging's great, and it smells great. If you want to try a new affordable lip plumping gloss, try this one. Again, if you like more of a pinky look, get the pink one. I prefer it, but this one is just as pretty. I believe that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I didn't do the monthly videos, but again, we go back on schedule next month so that is it that is the end of the video I hope that you guys enjoyed it again thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring a part of the video I really do appreciate it and I love when you guys are happy for me thank you guys so much for just helping me get sponsorships and for supporting me I really do appreciate it so yeah I guess I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching I love y'all so so much bye